Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights between BLG and NIP during the upper bracket round one phase of the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Okay, Knight takes two tower shots to try and get his ball in a good spot, and Shunji just ults out. He's like, all right, I'm out of here, boys. See you later. In the meantime, NIP will start that Drake off as well, so... A bit overforced, honestly, on the top side. Maybe, and now you have a gold card in River. Shun, you've got to be careful. They oh, think he's gone back no. to base. They thought Shanji had just run away. Shanji's setting up a play elsewhere. Rookie, no, Shanji will pick up first blood in the river on Shun. Oh, Shanji, what a play. He doesn't teleport back in the lane. Of course, you can tell that he's teleporting away. It's the big thing, yeah. so Shanji gets a freebie. And now we have ourselves a 4v3 in bot side. 4v4, rather. <laughs> this is more like it. BLGLA, right? We lost one play tower to kick things off. Diving in the bottom side, Fotic goes down, doesn't even get to use his flash from that combo. Look how many minions are dying to the tower. It's already almost a 20 CS lead, plus all of those are gonna go down. This is Fotic being set very far behind. Aki tries to go in, but just gets destroyed by BLG. And this happens as, oh god, Rookie very nearly claiming back another. That happened over two control wards and a vision ward down in the bottom side of the jungle for NIP. NIP, Lethality Callista. Does himself opportunity. Oh, on the bottom side of the map, what can you find? Elk stays, but this is 3v2. Aki's behind them right now. Opportunity in the inventory of Elk, so he is strong at this point on the target, though. Aki just ignores Elk entirely and looks for the support. Bailout's in play, and Fotix so jumped. It's not quite enough, but my god, that was close. Yeah, this is the thing about the Callista. Less extended damage, incredible burst. Very nearly takes down Fotix with him. Um, as on goes down, not but playing it, with a great deal of vision though. They don't know where Shun is, and he has level six. That's a problem. He has himself a sundered sky. That's another problem. Yeah. So he's going to have himself a lot of damage, a lot of ability to lock attempts someone down. NIP, they need to buy themselves away into this river if they want to fight, but they're going to be able to do so. And indeed, they're not. They get themselves a bit of wave clear, well, vision clear after this point. They might get forced onto it. Oh, rookie, good combo onto Elk here. He's the target, and he's taken down, but no, the bailout saves him. Aki Falls is now diving for more. Shun sets up onto Fotic, punts him back, and sets it up for the second. And here we go, a bit more blood in the water. The rookie gets off a vision for that first play. Knight bails out his AD carry, though, so both of these mid laners making their impact felt. They don't, can't find themselves and engage, though, before the objective goes down. Some which happens to NOP. Sometimes they can struggle to find themselves a fight when they're not on the objective first. They kind of just spectate it going down. Here comes on. On with the flash handshake. Aki served off on a silver plate, but no. He's fallen off the table, Cutler is everywhere, and suddenly On's the one in trouble! The combo from Rookie just one-shots him. This way does so much damage, and this is why in this kind of game, you look at the Lethality Callista and you look at the way on the other side and go, hmm. Yeah, I can understand why suddenly standing even within just the screen's distance of them can be very bad for my short-term uh, health as um, both of them very, very bursty. However, Rookie needs to be very, very careful of that fog of war. Comes out of it, and here comes Shun. He's the target. Shun takes down his old teacher here alongside his new mid laner in night. Fantastic little combo and kind of a bit of revenge for the pick. Rookie that Rookie. going over to the side of uh, BLG. Thing yeah. is though, what's the cross map from NIP? They're looking to catch out Knight on the side lane with the Hex Gates. Has Flash available, has TP, should he get an angle, but that's gonna be the ult coming through from Shanch as well. No way out of this one, Knight. Just gonna be burst on down. Shockwave even fizzles at the end. It doesn't even go on cooldown. Bit disrespectful actually from Knight. Um, you know, there's no contest coming on the bot side. You have incredible vision around mid lane and towards that dragon as well. There's only one place they can be process elimination. It's top lane, and the hex gates on the map make it even easier for them to arrive at that field. Very confident going towards this, and Knight continuing to use that wrecking ball. Just have to wonder when that shockwave will come out. I don't know what it is, but when surprising chunks of damage happen, it, makes, it turns me into <laughs> like an old pensioner. <laughs> start whooping at the screen like a maniac. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, Oriana, kick the ball! <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Shanji TP in behind enemy lines here. Doesn't really find the pick that they're looking for. This is going to be Drake for BLG. And NIP, kind of a lackluster attempt at finding that. Uh, NIP, it's not been... Oh, I have to see if Elshan goes for the engage. Oh. He's looking for it. Going forwards as well. NIP, got to be careful. 
Vincent, oh, Fox just gonna dive forwards and handshake to start it. Rookie, the target, CC him taken down. Now a shockwave onto two as well, as Knight is the carry. Elk was kicked out of the play and it doesn't even matter. On hits the off switch on Rookie's life and takes down the enemy mid laner. This is gonna open up the bar and NIP cannot afford to lose this one and bin soloing about Aki. This is looking like an MVP performance from on so far for me. He's been stellar on this Renata. Shanji with the gold card wants to set up a play, but like you say, Aki can't even be a part of this one. He's not even near the pit. He might even go down to pin on the side as Baron is taken. And now Aki the target as they start to look for more. BLG, we saw them chase down just a moment ago. They're going to try and make it happen again. Bin setting things up, looking for the knock-up. That's a flash burn. His Fotix been found. Shun diving into Rookie. TP comes through. Rookie re-enters the fight. And the bailout isn't enough. Even Rek'Sai can't dive that deep. Yeah, Rookie comes back with the help of his team. They uh, they end up winning that gamble. Turns out NIP, you do have TP some... TP in for a flank on this team. Absolutely uh, nobody. And honestly, if you've got the Twisted Fate, you're using their ult. The ult's not up right now either. Um, so, Shun on the flank once again. He is going to be spotted on vision. NIP, they cannot walk into Fog of War easily. No one can face check. Um, you know, the Renata ult plus the ult shockwave. And now they're getting Ren stacks on the dragon. NIP, you cannot let this go for free. And Shake lands onto Chuo. The tidal wave comes out immediately. Does survive as Aki's over the wall. It's not enough. He doesn't find it. And the ultimate from Shun denies Aki's own. Four players remain for NIP, but Bin doesn't want that fact to be true for long. Dives into the action as Fotix engaged by Shun. Shockwave's a sombrero coming out from Knight. He's fancying tacos tonight. As Elk steps forward again, it's a long old scrap as the spiraling despair comes through. On could be in trouble here. Big damage across the team, but just nobody's going down. Not just yet. They're trying NIP to fight fight back as best they can with a lot of those ultimates being down. They do get themselves a tower in the mid lane, but still, Votic! <laughs> Traded a bit. As I against the, uh, the Poppy Ren. Aki has been controlled remarkably well from BLG this entire game, from early game and elsewhere, and Shanji now potentially in a 1v2 on the side lane. Yeah, doing his best to outspace this one, but he can't outspace that. Knight takes it yeah. down for 400 gold, 8-5 to five on the scoreboard. The uh, solo laners of BLG deal Twisted Fate, the dead man's hand as he goes down in side lane, 1v2. Um, really hasn't been top drawer of the deck from him this game. He has had a good laning phase. He's actually gone for a different build. He went for the Kraken Slayer on the road play. Didn't talk about that that much. It's not been that important. BLG, they are not stopping at all, though. Going towards the Baron, NIP. One last gas, another Ren Steel has to be faced against. Aki was the hero smiter in the series against WE. He was the one that got that Elder Dragon and kept NIP in playoffs. I just look for it again. The ult goes wide, and the hostile takeover denies any such play from existence. BLG, they make it look easy. The control, as you worded it, over the enemy jungler has been immaculate. I don't even think Aki has played that badly. I think BLG no. have just been so prepared for him. They've had him warded out in his early game. They have. In the way that you usually expect, but the amount of pressure he's still putting out, despite this matchup, has been kind of insane to watch. I don't know if BLG can actually end right here. Maybe just wait for the next wave before they continue this siege. Unfortunately, couldn't get the artillery position set up for their cannon this time. But they will be able to just walk this in on the next wave. NIP struggling to clear these Baron minions and on stepping forwards. Rookie chunks there. Ah, the old gets out with his life. BLG can just keep going forwards. The six scrubs pay off. The void might come out. This entire wave across the team, but it doesn't seem to really matter much. They need oh! the tsunami! And that's the shockwave flying on in BLG. And Knight specifically make it look beautiful as they finish out game number one. Oh, Knight has been spiking that ball into the enemy court. These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between BLG and NIP. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.